Hey, Brian, we heard uh, the player's perspective. I'm wondering from a coach's perspective, what's the balance of staying and learning about mistakes or what happened in this game and moving forward to the upcoming game you have? Well, I mean, we have to move forward because there's nothing we can do about this other than take a look and reflect on, you know, what we could have done better in certain moments. What I told them before the game, you know, tried to message that, you know, look, it's human nature. Sometimes to look forward and look ahead at things. And I thought we did a good job with that. I thought, you know, they applied themselves early in the game at two nothing, you know, and then they got a little complacent at two nothing and the goal right before halftime. So we readdressed it at halftime. Just, Hey, look, it's two nothing's the most dangerous lead. And, you know, we can't think that the game is over. You have to stay disciplined. And then, you know, again, it's when Jordan scored that great goal, assist by Nico, you know, everybody kind of just breathe and just relax. Okay, 3-1. Okay, now again. And so that's the lesson there, Maz. You know, you can never, ever, ever let your guard down. Certainly not an MLS. You know, we, we talked about DC United and New England before the game. Changing of coaches. Always going to be a hard game. So, you know, you have to give credit to San Jose and, you know, we will learn from it and we'll try and get better. Jeremiah. Yeah, Brian, is there, is there anything uh, that you see as, I don't know, systemic going on here, or do you look at today as more of a one-off situation that you, you just try to take learning moments from? I would say it's a one-off, Jeremiah. I mean, the only thing that we as a coaching staff were kicking around after the game was, you know, when was the last time we had a clean sheet? You know, that was the game against Lyon at home, 3 nothing. You know, so that is a goal. We will message that to the team heading down to uh, Pumas. You know, because good defense wins championships. I think this roster has so much quality on it that we're always going to find a goal, but we just need to be hard and hard to beat, you know, a little bit harder defensively in certain moments of the game, a little bit more steely, you know, having Yaimar come back. I think that'll help us there. So that's the one thing I would say uh, is a little worrisome, but no, I think this is just a one-off. Felipe. Thank you, Matt. Um, thank you, Coach Brian, for the time. My question to you is, um, do you think that this game was uh, more about, or, or losing this game is more about the uh, excess of confidence from the players, or this was just a, a bad night uh, for the team? I don't think the confidence is an issue, Felipe. Uh, that's a very confident group. Uh, maybe overconfident. Maybe that's a question you should have asked me. Um, you know, were they a little overconfident? We'll certainly watch the tape and we'll certainly try and answer that question. Mickey Turner. Coach, uh, what did you make of uh, what uh, San Jose was trying to do in this game? They seem to be uh, pressing, trying to create turnovers in the midfield. They seem to have some success doing that. Just kind of your thoughts on what uh, problems they presented. Uh, well, San Jose did a good job bringing a lot of energy again, the new coach bump. I didn't think there was anything, you know, that we couldn't handle or we hadn't seen before, or, you know, we just didn't, you know, didn't have a great night, but, you know, certainly you credit them with the effort and the enthusiasm and the, you know, they didn't quit at two, nothing or three, one. So give them credit for that. But uh, you know, they've always been a, you know, team that gives good energy. You know, it's, it's partly Mateus, it's partly the new coach. So I'm not so sure that tactics were anything to blame for any of the goals. This is the last call here for questions, but I don't see any of their hands up at the moment. Um, so with that said, uh, oh, Jada, close us out and then uh, we'll let these guys get their fight. Go ahead, Jay. 
Thank you. Uh, Brian, <clears throat> if the half had gone any differently, would you have put uh, Yamar on any earlier? Was the plan to get him on any earlier? And um, as far as his, uh, what he can do going forward as far as the CCL games, um, you know, did he get enough time on the field to, to be able to be available for the final? Yeah, he's available for the final, yes. Um, you know, it's just the way the game played out, you know, those decisions we make. Um, you know, I thought Yarmar was okay when he came on. I thought he was good. You know, it certainly wasn't his fault that we gave up those goals. Um, but everybody will be available for the, for, for the first leg and the second leg.